Hey everyone and welcome to 456, you're the ultimate, and welcome to episode 11 of Less Platinum Danganronpa, Altered Spare Girls. Alright, let's keep going with this cutscene, it just never seems to stop. <laughs> Crying like a kid won't make them treat you like one. <laughs> Are you really going to just accept it? Be their prey? If not, there's only one thing to do. You can't run, you have to fight. Like I said, that's impossible! No, it's not impossible. You have Master's gun, don't you? No, that's not what I mean. I'm not like you. I'm just a normal high school student who can't do anything, you know? Just running would be hard enough, but to fight? That's impossible. And just why do you think I'm here? What? I'm not telling you to deal with it on your own. You better not forget. I'm with you too. T Toko. I if it's impossible to do on your own, well then I guess I have to do it with you. So just a little more. Just fight a little bit more. It's okay to rely on you? Y you've already relied on me. Isn't it a bit late to ask that? You're right. Sorry. If you have time to apologize, might as well do it outside. The atmosphere here is... oppressive. Hey, Toko. I already told you, don't apologize. No, it's not that. Thank you. W what are you being so honest for? It's just... Ugh, gross. So, come on, enough with that grossness, and let's hurry up and get outside. Yeah. Okay. Okay, finally. Um, I'm actually going to do one thing uh, off-screen, because it's something that I kind of forgot. Um, I'm actually going to do everything that I just did again, uh, everything that I just did in the previous episode again, but I forgot to put Gatherer on, because it says uh, I'm slightly more likely to drop after defeating an enemy. Well, I guess it's not the money one. Uh, actually, you know what? No, let's. I'll put it on. It's fine. I won't redo it. I was gonna redo it because I thought it was the one that increases money, but I don't think it is. Okay, let's uh, let's leave that alone then. In that case, and let's keep going. Yeah, there's apparently another cutscene, but I don't think it's as long. We'll see. Anyway, so let's get up here. Yeah, the cutscenes in this game are just let's so long, and, get outside. and unfortunately, they're nowhere near as good as the originals. Yeah. But yeah. All right, so we're supposed to head back, like, essentially towards uh, where Chapter 1 uh, was, or we came from Chapter 1, and then this happens. There's way too many of them. Let's go back. There's too many of them. It's too dangerous to go that way. Then what should we do? Don't ask me. I'm not your personal GPS. S sorry, you're just so reliable I thought I'd ask. Reliable? Well, well, it is true that my brain is far superior to yours. Now, let's see. It might be better to head back underground for now to find another exit the underground are you sure you're okay with that what do you mean i mean you're afraid of the dark aren't you the underground is pretty dark shit oh are you trying to be an example to show me how to go forward even if you're scared i see as expected of a true mentor Alright, finally. I think now we can actually play the game for a little while. Um, okay, so we're gonna head back through here, and there's Monokuma Kid. <laughs> this one gives us the knockback bullet. It's tutorial time. Looks like you have obtained knockback. As you might have guessed, knockback can knock back Monokumas. It's short range and doesn't do damage, but its effect more than makes up for that. 
like removing the shields of the guard Monokumas, or knocking back a bomber Monokuma to make him self-destruct where he lands. Oh, didn't actually know that. <laughs> if you use it right, this truth bullet can have some really powerful effects. Use it on the various Monokumas to learn more about its effects firsthand. Okay, cool. Is that a new kind of bullet? This looks pretty useful. But this gun belongs to Future Foundation, right? So why are the kids giving me bullets? I, I, I guess maybe there might be some kids in the group who want to support us. Huh? Support us? But who cares about that right now? Let's just look for the exit. Y yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna go down here where I went before. Before we do that though, we're gonna go to Truth Bullets and Knockback, and we're just gonna put our last two in there, definitely and sadly. So it increases the effectiveness a little bit and the amount, amount of ammo we can carry. And I think it's speed a little bit too. Again. Counter it with the new ammo. Okay, so in order to defeat guard monokumas, get them nice and close. Knockback, knockback. And then they lose their shield and now it's trying to shoot them in the face. Oh, I didn't mean to try and dance. <laughs> the cutscene of all the dancing monokumas was the best. That shield is so sturdy. Is it Gelalumen? It's Duralumen. <laughs> hey, Duralumen from the second game. Another reference to the first case. Another one was the fire escape doors. Just too much. Out of the question. This creepiness is just out of the question. Isn't it just going to get darker if we keep going? Is it really going to be okay? It's probably going to be fine. Oh, you suck at cheering people up. Can't you choose your words more wisely? Well, I'm sure you're just laughing at me in your head, thinking I'm just some scared little girl. I'm not laughing about it. I don't like dark places either. But honestly, for some reason, I feel at ease. Why do you feel at ease? You enjoy taking pleasure in other people's suffering? My suffering tastes delicious and you're planning on a four course meal, huh? You sure have a bitchy personality. You're the type to talk trash at a wedding, aren't you? I, I didn't mean it like that. I just mean that I'm sure you're working hard too. Of course. Even I'm at my limit. I'm scared of blood and the dark, and I'm just so tired, but th there's no choice but to do it. I'm not some crybaby, whiny, airheaded girl. Whiny crybaby? What? Yeah! Yeah! What? What was that? Sorry. I tried to scare you, but then your reaction scared me. <laughs> huh? You really are an idiot. I was just trying to ease the tension a little. Yeah, well, now I'm more afraid of your stupidity than the dark. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's keep going. This part actually looks like Silent Hill to me. Um, all right, so I want to look at the map. So we go all there to that place. Okay. Making a shopping district underground like this? What was the administration thinking? Maybe it's subtle political satire? Okay. Um... The children playing with the bodies, they're different than the ones who, gives up, who give us items. They look the same, but something's definitely different about them. Just like adults, some are good, some are bad. Don't waste time thinking about it. Then, do you think the ones who help us know it's wrong to kill adults? But now that you mention it, didn't you tell me before that they seem like they're under orders? And d didn't I tell you it's a waste of time thinking about brats who've gone insane? If you have the energy to think about nonsense like that, use it for picking up your pace. Sorry. Well, sorry, I can't help but wonder about it. Hmm, I don't think that comes up again in the rest of the game. Like the fact that they, some of them from? look different. 
Alright, so that green present uh, activates these Monokumas. I'm gonna dance them. Come on. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, double crap. Nice. I think Redemption is uh, leveling up to level 20. So that's good. Okay, got all those. Let's keep going. Okay, there's a dead end here. Is there a little... Yes, there is. Alright, this is a scrap note. Children's Paradise Commandments 2. 1. Wash hands before a meal. 1. Play video games no longer than 8 hours daily. 1. If you ever feel like you are showing signs of reincarnating into a demon, take responsibility and end your own life. Anybody who breaks the rules will suffer the punishment, holding their poo all day after a big barbecue. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's actually kind of funny. Coco, I think we can get out from those stairs. Y you're right. But let's head over there. Okay, let me look at the map again just to make sure. Alright, cool. That's just the thing coming up. Give me that knockback. There it is. Monokuma. Mm. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> yeah, my internet's been screwing up massively recently. That's alright. Hmm, much harder to shoot these ones with a nice shot than regular Monokumas. Alright, let's have a look at where Mekumara, Mekumara tells us to go that way. You silly. We gotta go this way into this random room. Alright, and in here we can find... This. Mastering Disappointment. Various regrets accompany life. Messing up at work, rocky relationships. If only I'd done things differently. If only I could go back to that day. Have you been looking to the past lately? What you need is to master disappointment. Because you haven't been able to properly attain ultimate disappointment, you will forever be stuck in the past. Acquire the skill of disappointment so that you may finally begin looking towards the future. A guidebook to life that shines upon tomorrow. Written by an author who has seen so much of the world, living in a pharmacy until the age of 10. <laughs> What's wrong with being disappointed? Tomorrow for tomorrow's sake. <laughs> Man. I don't really like books like this. I feel like I'm being scolded or something. So vulgar. But right off the bat, the introduction is pretty fishy. Tomorrow and future and you. I can't believe how often I used to get suckered in by books like this. So you do read this kind of stuff, huh? I thought you were all about pure literature. Nothing. Uh, I mean, in the past, I perused some when I was... When I was a weaker woman than I am now. Hmm. A weaker Toko. I can't even imagine it. To me, you're always a strong person who never gets depressed. Hmm. No, I'm not really strong. Not deep down. But if I look strong in your eyes, then I guess that means I've grown a little? I see. Grown, huh? I gotta do that too. You're right. Good idea. You're pretty annoying the way you are right now. Mm -hmm. Wow, you didn't even try to sugarcoat that. But, but if you want to change, now's the perfect time for it. Or maybe it's that. Uh, or maybe it's that at a time like this, you have to change. Hmm? I have to? Hmm. Imagine being locked inside a closed space with your classmates and forced to murder them. Whether you want to or not, you change. I can't even imagine that. But our current situation is just as unbelievable. Really? I guess I really- I guess I do really have to change. Just be sure you don't change for the worse. And Toko, that thing you mentioned earlier about killing your classmates? What? Amazing! That's such an interesting concept. What a cool setting. You should be a writer. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, she doesn't know what's happened to Toko at this stage. How would anyone even be able to, like, live after what happened to Toko and all the other students? It'd be the most insane, like, story and situation. Ah, oh, good to save points coming up. Uh, I think this one's locked, isn't it? So... It's a oh. Don't come near me! I went a little bit too close. Can I please aim correctly? Good. I'm dead! I'm dead. Is locked. Locked, eh? Well, I got a little thing for Mr. Lock. Alright, let's save. This is probably one of the most important save points because it's right before a, um, a challenge room and then there are a lot of challenge rooms that follow it. Okay, just want to make sure. Okay, I think we're going to get a cutscene here. Let's see. 
It's another arcade machine room. Actually, I don't think I wrote down what to do for this one in my little notes, so let's figure it out together. <laughs> and by together, I mean me. Uh, pretty easy. Okay, so you can only use move and knockback, so we're just going to go right behind this bomb Monokuma, knock back into these uh, regular Monokuma, and that should allow us to win. He's not turning around, so we just need to try and aim as close to forward as possible. I guess I did know about that, it's just hard to remember. <laughs> okay, beautiful. So, collect, collect, collect. Collect, collect. And I'm actually going to go back, and I'm hopefully going to be able to exit this way. Okay, I was going to say, I know I can do it later because we have to get access to those locked doors, but... I'm glad I can do it now as well. Okay. Okay, I think there's a cutscene coming up, so... Hmm. You know what? I'm actually going to take a quick break. Uh, quick break. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's keep going. Hopefully I can make it to where I need to make it to. Because uh, there's going to be a cutscene, and I want to want the cutscene to be all, all in this episode, and this episode not to go on forever, so let's see. So we go out here, and then I think you go this way. Let's get these two. Let me just make sure. Yeah. Pretty sure I don't need to worry about that. Yeah. I think it's later. All right, here we go. What is that? Someone's getting ambushed. We gotta go save them. Okay, so now we gotta save whoever's under here. Let's try and go for these clean shots. Oops. Just <laughs> trying to collect all the coins before. Another Monokuma? That's surprising. I never figured robots would have internal discord. <sighs> I, I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> it, it talked. Uh, don't be scared. It's okay. I'm not a particularly suspicious bear. I'm a nice bear. The kind of bear who would give my opponent the corner in Othello. Oh, Maru, what are you doing? Hurry up and shoot this thing! Y yeah. Wait, please don't shoot me. I promise you'll understand if we just talk it out. Talk? Why are you even talking in the first place? I have an AI inside me. I'm different than the other Monokumas. AI? Artificial intelligence? It's inside you? That's right. I can think and reason. I won't run amok like those other bears. I'm your ally. Look, I'm all white, see? <laughs> I'm a white bear, so I like to be called Shirokuma. Shiro in Japanese means white. You know, it's kind of cute. <laughs> Don't be fooled. It's more unnatural if it's all white. It's like a curry plate without the curry. Don't say that. We can be friends. I want to be friends with as many pretty ladies as possible. P pretty? Hmm. He may look suspicious, but I can see he has a pretty good eye. 
Toko gets easily fooled too, huh? That's right. I have a good eye for judging character. For example, just by looking at your face, I can guess the time and date of your first kiss. Huh? Oh, what a horrifying function. It's horrifying. I mean, if you can tell that about the first kiss, then you should know other firsts, right? If he uses that power, he can mercilessly expose frauds who claim to be virgins. <laughs> huh? Girl power is mostly from virginity. This is why so many girls try so hard to be seen as virgins. But if we have this one's power, we can uncover the misdeeds of those fraudulent career women. There's no mistaking it. This power can change the world. Uh, I was just giving an example. And what does this have to do with our current situation anyway? I guess you're right. I got a little heated there. By the way, what are you guys doing in a place like this? Fragile girls wandering around a dangerous place like this is a big no-no. What? Are you going to lecture us now? It's not our fault. We don't know where to go. I see. So you're drifters. Girls driven into a corner with nowhere to run. If that's the case, leave it to me. I can take you to a safe place. Huh? A safe place? Well, that's quite suspicious. It's something a kidnapper would say. You went through a lot up till now, so you have trouble trusting people. I understand. But the world is also full of amazing people. You don't have to be so pessimistic. Sorry, but words coming out of a Monokuma's mouth aren't exactly persuasive. Hey, where is the safe place you're talking about? Full disclosure? There's a secret base here underground, where adults are living and hiding. S secret base? Did you hear that, Toko? A secret base! With adults gathered there! We should go there too, right? Hey, what do you think? I mean, what should we do? E even though it was hard enough to find an exit, you want to keep going through the underground? Uh, but it's dangerous to use those stairs. There are tons of Monokumas lurking around the exit. Huh? See? So wouldn't it be a smarter idea to find the secret base? That doesn't mean this guy's telling the truth. He is a Monokuma, after all. I just want to save you. If you come with me, you can see whether or not I'm telling the truth. You hear that? What do we do? If you think we shouldn't, then I'll go with you. But logically... This is the best option, right? This is the kind of chance that, like, 100 out of 100 people would take. J just be honest and say you want to go. Jeez, you're annoying. F -f -f Fine. You want me to go? Then I'll go. Right. Then let's do that. All right. I'll lead. So follow me. Yeah. I'll leave it to you, Shirakuma. Uh, <laughs> that was weird, the there. background. Go over there. The background, background went black. Shirakuma Rescue Squad. Alright. you're a terrible navigator. Okay, let's leave things here for now, since that cutscene took forever. Uh, for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 11 of Let's Platinum Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.